Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Inessa and I am an indie author from Toronto, Canada and I publish under the pen name A and Sage. Um, on this channel you'll see a lot of behind the scenes of what it is to be an indie author or at least what it is to be an indie author for me um, and because I am a huge stationary nerd and a planner junkie you will see a lot of planner videos like the ones today. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure that you are subscribed and you hit the thumbs up button so other people can get to know of this channel as well. So without further ado, um, <laughs> this huge stack is probably a giveaway of what we're going to talk about in today's video. And I kind of wanted to share my planner stack for 2022 or the planners that I will be using. I'm not going to be doing like full flip throughs of any of these. I'm just going to kind of go through each one and talk about um, like what I'm going to be using each one of these planners for because I have divided them up in a way that I think will be the most functional for me as an author, as an entrepreneur, and as a business owner that works from home. So um, I don't know how to start this. I'm thinking I'm also in a very like awkward spot. You can't see all around, but like I am on the floor right now. And so if you hear me shifting around or I run out of breath or something, it's because I'm like hunched over for a long period of time. So apologies for that. But let's just start with, I guess, like what I'm going to be using the main planner for. And um, then we'll just go from there. So let's deconstruct this area a little bit so the main planner or my main planner is kind of um, like a combination um, of a planner holder which i've seen many times before and this uh, wonderland 222 um, planner i have done a walkthrough of this planner already so i will link that above um, or somewhere in the description if you don't see it pop up but my plan is to replace this disc bound system that I currently have here, which I really do love. But as far as why I'm changing from this bound, because I go back and forth. But the reason I'm doing it now is because I realized that storing these planners when the year is done has become more and more difficult. Um, and since I do need to store them for tax purposes, I figured more planners like this, like the Hobonichi, like things that are just like one book with everything in it is more useful because then I can just store them easily. They don't take up as much space. Like in comparison, these are like very different thickness wise, right? So the plan for next year is to have this planner in here. Um, and inside this planner, what I'm going to be using it for um, is pretty much everything, right? Um, so I have like the index here and you can see all of this in the walkthrough that I did, um, but I'm going to be tracking my routines in here. Um, all my monthlies will be done in this planner, like for my um, main kind of events and life and everything that's going on. This will be like a planner that stays at home um, and I'm going to have weekly tasks. I'm going to be using this time section for any appointments I have or timed calls with clients and things like that. Um, the top section, I haven't decided if I want to do like my top thing or I might do home stuff like home related things like if I have to water specific plants or something like that or I might just do a quote for myself for the day um, and then the bottom ones here I'm going to be using for to do's that are not time specific so that's what I'll be using this for in the this freely or daily section I'm just going to have all my lists like books read YouTube videos like all this stuff right like things that I just need to keep on all the time and We'll see how this goes. So I have decorated it a bit more since the last time that we saw it. Got some more vinyls up in here. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the plan for this planner that will sit inside of here. So that's one. One done, one to go. Um, I guess we can move into this one. It's another bigger one. Um, so this is a monthly agenda. I'm not sure, to be honest, of the brand. Um, and I covered it up, of course, uh, the brand that this is from, but I got this from HomeSense. So you can get this at Marshall's HomeSense and like that chain of stores. Um, and I just really liked, I wish it didn't have this writing on it because it's pretty lame, but <laughs> I really liked the color of it. Um, it's like, a, let's bring it up a bit. It's like a kind of dusty beige. 
Um, and it's uh, starts in 2021, goes until 2022, which is perfect for me. And I am using this as my social media planner. Um, so I just kind of plan out posts, um, videos. If I have something specific going on, um, I was using this whoop, kind of a giveaway there for what we're doing next week. But I was using this to plan out a bit of the cover design course that I'm working on. Um, and then just some notes that I take basically for videos if I need note space. So this goes until December of next year and I've already started using it in August, which is fantastic because it was like one of those, um, I guess like academic planners. So it started early and that was great um, because really that's all I need. I just need monthlies and the notes section, really. That's what I need for the social media planner. I have a couple cards here and some washi. I'll likely never use it, but you know, the pocket is cute. So, <laughs> so that's that one. Um, I do still have my kind of future planning um, LV. This is the um, medium sized, I guess. I'm not sure how LV, I can't remember how they do it. I think it's a, um, yeah, it would be a medium because the small would be the pocket size. Um, so it's equivalent to a personal size planner. And I do still use this as kind of like a future planner. Um, I got some cards up in here. Um, there's like an inbox section that I just cleared out because this was filled with like messy notes. Um, I've got a couple more cloth and paper things in here from when I had a subscription. Then I have my A and Sage, which is my writing stuff. So I'll have like future ideas for books, for characters, um, for the author brand, like things like that, titles. Um, then one for Cauldron Press and Cauldron Press is my cover design um, business. So Again, I just, I think I just recently added this in there. This was something else before. And I added this in here because um, I think it will be good to just have like general future to do's, um, like courses I'm thinking of having, things like that. Um, then we have like a media one and this is like books I want to read, TV I want to watch and whatever else I want to put in here. I have a personal section, which I won't go into, um, but it has like gift ideas um, and then lists of things I love and just like, to do's like personal to do's a travel section that is sadly very empty this year uh, because we are not traveling a lot but when we do travel in the future i'm hoping to use this to kind of make notes and lists for places i want to go and what we can do when we get there and then the miscellaneous section is just i again i'm not showing this but these are my passwords for a whole bunch of stuff um, I've got some stickers back here. I do want to kind of go through these because I don't really use stickers in this planner. It's just notes. So I might take them out from here and move them into the Wonderland because there's spaces in the cover for some stickers and spaces in the back. And I also have spaces like in my actual um, LV cover for it. So I might move those at some point in there and then just some note cards up in the front. So that's the future planning one. And then I have two more little ones left. So this one is, it was another purchase from HomeSense, um, Home Goods if you're in the States. And um, this was, maybe I didn't cover this one up. So this is Ecolo um, and they do have this brand like a lot. I've noticed they have a lot of notebooks and things like that. And they're it's really good quality paper, but I am using this for cauldron press so this is another let me see if i can find i can't show you any notes but this is another um monthly view with uh notes in the back but it also has a weekly view that is kind of um set up this way it's horizontal um and so the way that i use this is um in the monthly view just so i know what my availability is so let me see kind of zoom in here so that's the monthly that's the weekly and then there's like notes in the back. Um, so the monthly view, the way that I use it um, is I use it for availability. Um, so I do get booked up pretty far in advance um, for cover design. I think right now I'm booking for the end of February of next year, if not March. Um, but uh, it, it does get pretty hectic. And so I use this for my availability and I kind of do like a highlighter across like a Monday to Friday um, to let me know like per client with a couple short notes on what I'm working uh, like for them. 
And that way, um, the highlighter just helps me that I know I can take a certain amount based on the work per week. And so I'll put a highlighter, the client's name, make a note for myself. And then if I'll have space to do another client um, or some more work, then I'll do an empty highlighter note. And that way I know when people email me or call me and they ask me what my availability is, I can look at this and see the empty highlighted notes and know that those are spots in the schedule where I still can take them. So that's what I use that for. I don't use this note section at all. Um, and then the weekly, um, as I'm working, I'll make notes on what I have to do per client per day in the weekly. And then the side bar here, because it's split up, you have like running lines on one side and then an empty space on one side. So I'll do client stuff where the lines are. And that's like the main priority. And then I also work on like pre-made course stuff and things like that um, is kind of in this blank spot here. And notes are pretty self-explanatory. They're literally just random messy notes. This planner gets very, very messy. It's not as cute and organized as my other planners, but that's how I need it to stay. It is very um, like a serious planner for me. So <laughs> that's my big girl planner, my grown up planner. And then the last planner that I have, and I'm very excited because I have not used this before. This is the Hobonichi Weeks. It's not the Mega because when I tell you what I'm using it for, um, you'll see why I didn't really need the extra notes in the back. Like what is here is already plenty. But I'm very, very excited about this one. I have not used. Um, actually, let me see if I can zoom you in here. Um, I have not used a uh, Hobonichi weeks before. And so I was so excited to try it this year. They didn't have, there was like this floral kind of design they had last year. They didn't have it this year, which was disappointing, but they did have this cool, they're like um, Japanese masks and the cover has got this like texture on it, which is pretty cool. I think it's got ribboning on the inside and then an overlay of another fabric. But Hobonichi Weeks is very, very thin. And I like that it has the year kind of stamped here and here because when you kind of um, organize them on your shelf after, it's easier to find it. Um, so I have used the Cousin Hobonichi before and I have used the Chechu before, but never the Weeks because it was always too small for me. Um, I always find myself I need more space, but what I am using this one for actually is for my tarot journal. So if you are an avid tarot reader, I think this would be perfect for you too, because this is great. Like, I don't know why I didn't use this before, because you have your um, perpetual calendar here and you could really just make notes on this one. It's very small. So you could make notes on this one of the cards, but what I want to make notes here is just the suit that I pulled every day. Um, so I have like an overview of the suits, which will help me like at the end of every month to kind of track it and see like what we'll got more playtime basically. Um, and then the monthly I'm going to use to track my daily cards. So I'm just going to write in what card, exactly what card I pulled every single day. Cause I do try to pull a card every day. Um, doesn't always happen cause life gets in the way, but for the most part, I'm pretty adamant about it. Um, and I do like that it has the moon faces on it because I do do like more, uh, full readings for the new and full moon. However, <laughs> this is a Japanese planner. Um, and so they don't always line up with the moon phases in Toronto. So for the most part, I do still have to double check and I'll just make notes on it here. But this will be kind of what I use the monthlies for is my everyday, um, the cards I pulled. And then for the weeklies, what I'm going to be doing is writing about that card a little bit. So making notes a little bit for myself about the card. Um, then this note section um, I'm going to be using for my weekly draw. So I tend to do like a three card draw um, or a four card draw at the end of every week. So that's what this is going to be for. And then the note section in the back, which as you can see in the mega, you get like, I think like triple this or something like you get a ton of notes, but you only get this many. I have no, don't even ask me how many they are. I think seven, actually, no, you can ask me. Um, it is 71 notes pages to be exact here, this section here. So we start here and they're all um, numbered. So 71 notes pages. That is more than enough for me because I'm going to be using this 
for um, every month. Um, if I do like a Celtic cross spread for like the full moon or just a bigger reading, that's what I'm going to be using this for, for like every single month. So 71 pages should be more than enough for that, I think. I think that is quite plenty. Um, and then in these notes sections here around the month, this is where I'm going to be doing my kind of like tally overview and then um, like little notes on what I think it means for like the cards that I pulled that month. So that's what's going to go in this planet. So I'm pretty excited. Like there's a lot um, going on here. We've got many, many planners. Um, but that is kind of the stack that I will be working on, uh, working with, sorry, not working on, but working with next year. Um, I'm pretty, pretty stoked for next year. And I'm not going to lie. Um, I think it's kind of like the best planner stack I've had in a while. I've always had like a planner stack that I worked with every single year, but I think this is the first time that I am like extra excited just because I get to try some new planners, both the Wonderland and the Weeks of the Hobonichi are new to me. Um, and so I'm excited to get into those and try those and see how I feel about them. So um, if you have a planner stack of your own ready, then comment on this video and tell me what planners you are using and what you'll be using them for because I'd love to know how people are using all of their planners. Um, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. And as always, I hope you guys stay magical and I will see you next week. And we're going to do something really fun for the next few videos. I have another series planned that is going to be perfect for um, upcoming nano that we have coming up and preptober in general. And so um, I think this will be a fun little series to kind of take on. Um, it will probably take us like through the rest of October and into some of November. But um, even if you're drafting, I think it'll be fun to kind of go over some of the stuff. So stay tuned for next week. Um, I won't say what it is, but I'll let you guess in the comments if you want. And I will talk to you guys next week. Stay magical and have a wonderful rest of this spooky season leading up to Halloween. Bye.